What would you have done on September the 12th, 2001? What would you have done if you'd been president? What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate, a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? How quick they knew Lee Harvey Oswald well, we knew killed because, Kennedy. Because the people who did it were identified and we knew who they were. Well, then why couldn't we have stopped them beforehand if they were identified and we knew who it they were? It was a failure of intelligence. Everyone's accepted No, it that. wasn't. We knew before with Condoleezza Rice's memo on August 6th when it stated right in the memo, bin Laden took steal planes and run them into buildings and more stuff is coming out now also how much the bush administration ignored the intelligence it was almost like they ignored it because they wanted it to happen oh come off it jesse Don't no not oh come off it every you. wait a minute no. every war no, 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 starts no. with a false flag operation you can't in all seriousness sit there and try and make out anybody how, okay in the let me ask you this Piers. wait a minute happen. let That's me wait, wait. let me ask you something how many how much studying have you actually done of 9 11 other than what what the government's told you and what mainstream media has told actually. you I was editor, i've been studying it I was four editor years of a national newspaper i've, I've talked to people in wait a minute depth every day for really? five six months really so i know a lot about it well, well, then then how I do come, know is, let me ask you this you then. cannot say that any member of the Bush administration knew it was going to happen or wanted it to happen. It's a ridiculous thing to say. Ridiculous. Okay, let's talk about your BBC. I have a tape of a BBC reporter broadcasting directly back to England talking about a third building has collapsed. World Trade Center Building 7 talks for seven minutes. All the while she's talking World Trade Center Building 7 is still standing right behind her. It didn't fall for another half hour, yet they were doing a pre-broadcast back to England no. that, the, yes, it's true, no, you need to that this break, building yeah. fell and it hadn't fallen yet. If you're trying to make out the British Broadcasting Company, one of the most respected news organizations in the world, was inventing huge buildings falling over, you, need to, have a little, you need to have a break, Jesse. We'll come back after the break Are and we'll talk kidding? about Israel Are and you? Iran. Are you kidding me? This is a fact, my friend. That was Jesse Ventura live along with our studio audience. We left a fairly heated debate about various theories that you have about 9-11 and so on. Let's move on to... Oh, and the government only has a theory. Right, well, the government... Uh, has no, factual. this is a theory. Their theory is 19 Islamic radicals armed with box cutters defeated our multi-billion dollar air defense system mm -hmm. all while conspiring with a bearded guy in a cave in Afghanistan. That is exactly what that's happened. That's their theory. No, that's not a theory. It's a fact. That's their theory. No, Jesse, that's, that's a, a fact. fact. That's what happened. Really? Yes. I'm Were sorry to kill your conspiracy theories, but that is what happened. Then why haven't anyone been brought up for trial? Because they they haven't died. given one shred of evidence they all died in a trial. In case, you, in case you missed the story. Well, they then what do we died. got all these guys in Gitmo for? And we got the supposed confessor to it, who they waterboarded 180 times to get the confession. Got news for you, peers. If they waterboarded you 180 times, you'd confess to but, it. You see, now you're, but you're missing the point. On that very point, I don't agree with Guantanamo Bay. I didn't agree with the waterboarding, personally. Let's move on. Let's move on right. to uh, Iran and Israel. If you were the American president, with all the jungle drums beating now about Iran, would you take any military action? Well, first, let me state that Iran has to do this, because if you notice, the United States doesn't mess with any country that's got nuclear capabilities. They only mess with countries that don't. So all countries that don't have it strive to get it because it's a safety mechanism to have it. So of course Iran is going to try to get the stuff. Should they be allowed to have it? Should they be allowed to? I don't know. Well, yes or no? I don't know. Come, you're a man of opinions. No, I don't. I, I, you I, may I, be running I, for office. I'm, I'm entitled to know what you think. Not right now. You don't. I need to study it How more. How very I need convenient. To look. Yes, it is very convenient. So you know about everything that happened before 9-11, but right now when you have Iran potentially nuking itself up, you don't have an opinion. Well, let's leave that up to the nuclear inspectors that go in there. They will tell us whether they're nuking it up before you decide to bomb them. 
I didn't decide to bomb anybody. No, but you seem to be very favorable You're trying to put toward... words into my mouth all the time, which is, it's, it's not a very good technique when you're debating with somebody. Just to stick you're to going facts. To, well, how many political offices have you held? Uh, none. Then don't tell me how to debate, because I've held two. Oh, I've debated many times. But you've never won, you've never won an election where a debate I was required. I think you make some very sensible points, and you make some crackpot points. That's your opinion? Yes. How many people here think I make crackpot points? Yeah. One. How many think I make sensible points? You're in a minority, my good friend. You're the minority.